We've always believed that faster is better, until OpenAI introduced its new model, O1. Unlike its predecessors, this model responds more slowly but delivers unmatched results. It takes its time, reasoning like a PhD-level expert, and shatters previous records in precision, especially in science, math, and coding. What is OpenAI 01? For several weeks in August and into early September 2024, rumors were flying about a new OpenAI model, codenamed Strawberry. At first, no one really knew if Strawberry was the next step after GPT-4 or something entirely different. We all know that for years, OpenAI faced criticism despite the strength of its models in natural language processing. When it came to solving complex math problems or delivering precise mathematical reasoning, they often fell short. Meanwhile, competitors like Claude were gaining attention for consistently providing better results in these areas. On September 12, 2024, the mystery behind OpenAI's latest development was finally revealed. OpenAI officially launched its O1 models, including the O1 Preview and O1 Mini, putting all the speculation to rest. These O1 Preview and O1 Mini models are specifically designed to tackle tasks that require deep thinking. Whether it's solving difficult math problems, writing intricate code, or understanding the nuances of scientific research, these models take their time to process and fully grasp each request. This is a case of excruciating pain in their bladder. We can't figure out why. So I can go here and say, can you tell me about citrate synthase? And it shows, it tells me that it is expressed in the bladder, and it could potentially be related to bladder health. So the decreased citrate synthase activity, oh, this is really smart because I don't know from this variant if it's like knocking down activity or causing too much activity. It's actually really hard to figure that out sometimes. Um, and so it gives both options. So I can um, think about both ways that it could be going. That's actually really cool. This deliberate approach makes them far superior in areas like science, coding, and math compared to their earlier versions, addressing the very gap where OpenAI had previously lagged behind its rivals. We are releasing two models, O1 Preview, which is to preview what's coming for O1, and O1 Mini, which is a faster, slow, smaller and faster model that is trained with a similar framework as O1. So we hope you like our new naming scheme, O1. <laughs> the first thing to note in these models are their power and user friendliness. If you're not an expert at prompt writing, this model is perfect for you. Unlike GPT-4, which requires more detailed instructions for optimal results, O1 excels with shorter, simpler prompts. According to OpenAI, this update makes O1 the go-to model for anyone who wants quick and accurate results without needing advanced prompt engineering skills. And it's not just about mathematical problems. Sometimes, there are various prompts that require ChatGPT to engage in deeper thinking before providing an answer. Take puzzles or riddles, for example which demand careful reasoning and creative insight. The O1 model excels in these areas as well. There are times where we ask questions and we need answers immediately because they're simple questions. For example, if you ask what's the capital of Italy, you know the answer is Rome and you don't really have to think about it much. But if you um, wonder um, about a complex puzzle or you want to write a really good business plan, or um, you want to write a novel, you probably want to think about it for a while. And the more you think about it, the better the outcome. So reasoning is the ability of turning thinking time into better outcomes, whatever the task you're doing. Testing 01. Before testing 01, please hit the subscribe button. Now let's test the 01 preview. I'll start with a basic math problem. Explain the quadratic formula. After thinking for a bit, it provided an incredible breakdown. 
explaining the theory, the components of the formula, the discriminant, and even gave a step-by-step -step example and a practice problem. Truly impressive. Comparing this to GPT-4, the difference is night and day. O1 Preview delivers another level of depth in its explanations. Next, we wanted to challenge O1 with a more complex problem, a nonlinear system of differential equations describing the interaction between two species in a predator-prey model. According to my mathematician friend, solving this manually could take days. O1 Preview took about two minutes and solved it step by step, providing accurate answers for all four parts of the question. I double-checked with my friend, and they were blown away by the accuracy. I'll share the full solution in a doc file, so you can verify it yourself. Now while the preview model excels in problem solving, O1 Mini is a beast at programming. It's even being compared to Sonnet 3.5, with some saying it's better. To test it, I asked O1 Mini to create a Python data scraper tool. Within moments, it provided a well-structured code. After running it, the tool successfully scraped data from a web page, proof that O1 Mini is a powerful, efficient coding solution. It also runs 80% cheaper than the preview model, so it's a great budget option if you're focused on coding tasks. How does O1 work? Well, early AI models, like the earlier GPT versions, mainly focused on predicting the next word in a sentence. They were good at mimicking language patterns, but didn't really understand the content deeply. This approach was useful, but it had its limits. As AI technology progressed, the goal shifted to making models more aligned with what people need. Responses that are honest, harmless, and helpful. This meant training them to give answers that not only made sense, but were also safe and practical. For example, instead of just keeping a conversation going, the model might offer useful advice or accurate information. Now, the O1 series represents a new shift in this evolution. It goes beyond just giving accurate responses. It ensures those responses are based on logical reasoning. This is done using a method called chain of thought, where the model is encouraged to think through problems step by step, similar to how a person would tackle a puzzle or a tricky question. One of the coolest parts of this approach is the use of reinforcement learning. Initially, the idea was to show the model examples of human reasoning for it to mimic, but it turned out that letting the model come up with its own reasoning steps and then rewarding it for clear and correct answers worked better. Over time, this helps the model produce really accurate and sophisticated responses, relying on its own improving reasoning skills instead of just copying human examples. Recently, the ARC Prize account posted an intriguing tweet about how different AI models, including OpenAI's O1, performed in their evaluations. They highlighted that both O1 models outperformed GPT-40, with the O1 preview matching the performance of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This sparks an interesting question. Can the chain of thought approach these models use eventually scale up to artificial general intelligence. If you're not already familiar with AGI, go check out our video on the topic. Ultimately, all these AI models are heading toward AGI one day. So, if you're someone who's fascinated by the future, make sure to watch that video. O1 Current Limitations Now, while the O1 models are undeniably impressive, it's important to highlight their current limitations. Despite their groundbreaking capabilities, O1 Preview and O1 Mini are still in the early stages. Right now, they only support text-based tasks, meaning they can't generate images, browse the web, or handle file uploads. For users who rely on these features, whether for content creation, data analysis, or accessing real-time information, the O1 models fall short. This lack of browsing and image generation also limits the model's usefulness in certain areas. 
For example, designers or content creators who depend on AI to generate visual content won't find much value in the O1 series at this point. OpenAI has promised that these features will be added in future updates, but for now, users looking for a more versatile tool may still prefer to use GPT-4. Additionally, there are usage limits that might frustrate some users. Currently, ChatGPT Plus and team users can access the O1 models, but the usage is capped at 30 messages per week for O1 Preview and 50 messages per week for O1 Mini. This makes the models less accessible for those who need consistent and long-term use, particularly in research or development environments where constant access is essential. Enterprise and education users will gain access soon, but rate limits remain a major drawback at this stage. Watch this video to find out more about this project.